First warning weather university lesson of the day. Today we're talking about lightning. Why do trees explode when they get hit by lightning? Have you seen that? Sometimes it looks like it almost took like a cheese grater off uh, one side of a tree. Well, there's science behind it. Once a lightning bolt hits that tree, wherever it hits it, the electricity travels just beneath the bark of that tree. So just on the inside and within that channel is where you'll find water and where you'll find sap. So given the fact that those lightning bolts are a good 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, right? They super heat the air around them. They're superheating the water and the sap as it moves through the trees. So that water and sap instantly expand and that's what causes the explosion here. That's why you see sometimes the bark completely stripped off the side of a tree or sometimes even the, the trunk as a whole splinters and you see chunks of wood. It's basically that electricity following the water and the sap within that tree and unfortunately superheating because of how hot that lightning is and that electricity and instantly exploding. Now let's carry on this conversation of lightning into our weather chat because we've got a new uh, website or new post on our website, kegsan.com. Uh, our data reporter and meteorologist, Christopher Adams, he put together this, this display of where we see the most lightning deaths uh, in the United States, and it's scary to look at. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it, it is certainly a cool display to look at on our website. You can kind of hover over each state to uh, see the difference. But yeah, it's not surprising to see that Florida takes a lead. You know, Florida is a state with the most amount of thunderstorms, with the most amount of uh, lightning strikes, and then of course, with the weather being so warm and nice, a lot of people are outside. So uh, that does take the lead with the most amount of uh, deaths or fatalities to occur for the country. But we're a close second. We are number two here uh, in terms of deaths from lightning in the United States from 2006 through the current year. Yeah, our record of good lightning data goes back to 2006. And since then, Texas has had just over 40 people die from lightning strikes. Florida had over 80 people die. So quite a big difference there between the top one and two. Now, obviously, you know, Texas has a big footprint in the United States. When we look at it by population, Wyoming actually came in as the most number of deaths per capita, and uh, D.C. actually came in as number two, which kind of surprised me. We can narrow this down to even gender. Most of the lightning fatalities we've seen here in the United States over the last you know, 10 to 15 years have been men. Right, yeah, and that's about 80% of, of men taking the, the lead here. Um, uh, in the amount of uh, fatalities. But the big trend here is going from uh, 2006 to, to uh, 2023, showing that overall awareness has brought the amount of total deaths downward. So we are heading in the right direction. Yeah, we hope it's awareness, yeah. right? I think some people might say a lot more people are spending time inside, you know, on Game Boys technology and that kind of stuff too. I remember when I was growing up, the only thing yeah. to do was to be outside. So we hope that those numbers continue to trend in the right direction, but we could even narrow this down more talking about the age group where we see the most number of fatalities, 20 through 29. So Old enough to know better is what right. I'm going to say there. Yeah, and, and of course, during the month of July, it's not surprising uh, for, you know, people who maybe have off work. It is it's summer break, more people outdoors uh, and on vacation. It is a little bit surprising because, of course, you know, for July, we're not really seeing thunderstorms here at home, but that is a uh, an average for the entire country as a whole. And then, of course, certainly, a lot of people outside over the weekend having the day off, so that, that that's taking the lead as well. Right, your odds of getting struck in a year are about 1 in 1.5 million. So it is a low risk, but all it takes is one strike to really cause some problems, not only that day, but for the rest of your life. If you'd like to read more about this, you can find a new blog. Again, our KXAN Christopher Adams put this together for us. It lives on the website under the Weather tab.